Hey guys, this is Bill. Uh, I'm uh, I'm here. I just got uh, I just got done uh, watching a lecture on something that I thought. Um, well, let's just put it this way: some of you guys out there that are in the health industry or uh, the fitness industry or weight loss consultants, whatever you guys want to call yourselves. Um, it looks to me like we were all misled for all these years. Uh, for myself, you know, I, I use the uh, glycemic index a lot to help my clients in the past to, uh, to uh, watch what their uh, glucose levels are as far as food response and what kind of food they ate. So I tried to keep them in a lower glycemic types of food. Uh, and here, here I thought that I was doing the right thing. And for the last four or five months, um, Emily and I have been doing a lot of research on um, how, the, you know, the, the more natural way to lose the belly fat or the body fat. Uh, we've been looking for a way that isn't going to be so uh, dramatic on the body. Uh, you know, people go on these uh, restricted diets, calories in, calories out, you know, three or four months into it, you might lose some weight, but then you're always hungry, uh, two or three months down, down the line, you're tired, you're tired of doing it, and that's why they, they fail. And that's the same thing with my clients. Once my clients left me, uh, six months to a year down, down the line, I'd see them again. Hi, Emily. Hey, uh, but anyway... Um, I, Emily and I have been really doing a lot of uh, research on this. And not only are we researching in the uh, medical journals about this and uh, you know, watching lectures and reading articles, uh, we've also taken some of those protocols and, and tried them ourselves and with great results so far. I even have other people that I've taken different body parts our uh, body co compositions on other people, even ones that don't even exercise, and also uh, put them on this because what what I was what I what I've learned or what we have learned is that we have always been taught that we are to watch the glucose levels in our body. That's how, that's what we were taught in school. Um, that's what all the books say. That's what the uh, diet gurus say. That's what the weight loss consultants say. Really, really pay attention to your glucose levels. That's where the glycemic index came, came about. I don't, I, mean, I don't remember the date it came. I just got done uh, reading about it, and, and then in the lecture they talked about it too. But now, from what all the research that Emily and I have been doing, and what we've been doing on ourselves, and uh, like like for myself, um, I'm down to about 176 pounds. Well, I've lost a tremendous amount of body fat, as well as Emily has too. She's down to her, uh, actually, I think she's almost down to her competition weight when she used to compete. Uh, by doing, by by understanding the root cause of weight gain, and it's not it's not the glycemic index or glu glucose. See, that's how that's what we were taught. It's the opposite. It's it's not that. It's all about the insulin hormone. That is the key factor. That is what's causing uh, the American people to be obese, is uh, insulin resistance. But what we're learning about that is that it is a key factor in if you control the insulin, then you're going to control your weight. The problem is, is that what we're understanding now from what we're learning is that it's all about the insulin, not about glucose. Glucose isn't what's causing us to get fat. That's not the cause of it. Like I said, some of you guys might, uh, some of you uh, diet gurus out there are probably uh, look, looking at me as, man, you're nuts. Well, guys, I'm telling you, I mean, the research is out there. It's, it's, it's not me. This isn't me saying this. It's the research. One of the top uh, doctors, kidney do doctors, and, and, and a doctor who uh, 
has been having great uh, success in reversing type 2 diabetes and obesity. Uh, he's from Canada. He's having unbelievable re results, and he said the same thing. Somebody approached him and said, you know, Dr. Uh, Jason Fong, um, you need to look at your clients differently because they're not getting any better. The type 2, type 1 di diabetes is not getting any better. And also obesity here in the United States is still climbing. Look at the young kids. It's still climbing. Why? We've got all these fancy diets. We've got all these diet books. These, these diet gurus are making millions of dollars off their books. And yet we're the, still the fattest country in the world. So why is that? It's because we're not being taught the truth. And the truth is, it's, it's not about the food we're, we're eating. And it's not about the glycemic index or the glucose controlling it. It's all about insulin. It's the, it's the insulin. It's the hormone insulin. We got to control that. And we got to understand how that works in, in the body. And I'm telling you, once you understand it and see the research, there's tons of, re of research on it. Once you see the research on it, it makes a whole lot of sense because too many people are seeing the benefits from controlling that hormone, insulin. Okay, guys? And so, yes, here I was taught to use the glycemic index for decades to help my clients lose their body fat. That, that's how, we, that's how we, we were taught. And come to find out, that's, not, that's why when my clients left me after two or three months of seeing success and losing weight, doing that, six months to a year down the line, they gained all their weight back and more because it's not long term. See, those kind of, the, the glycemic index diet is short term. It is not long term. And it's not actually healthy either. But when you understand the, how the, the mechanism or how to control insulin, then you are going to control your weight over long term, and you're going to benefit the health from controlling the insulin. So I, have to, I, I had to reboot my brain, and that's hard to do because when you're taught to use the uh, glycemic index for all these years, then you're and, and then you're seeing all this research saying it's not glucose causing the issue, and it's not food going. It's not the type of food going in that's causing the issue. That's not the issue. It's not the food. I mean, it, it's it's the insulin, insulin resistance. And what's crazy is I learn here, you know, as when my wife and I were competing back in the days, one of our main sources of protein was whey protein. That was one of our, our main sources. I just learned today <laughs> that whey protein stimulates the increase of insulin just like if I was going to eat processed wheat bread, a carb, carbo hot, carbohydrate bread. I didn't know that. And so that could be a reason why I was having such a hard time at my age when I was competing to lose that extra body fat because I was I was trying to do, oh, I think we're trying to do 250 grams of protein a day and the majority of that was in my whey, drink, my whey protein drink. And here I'm trying to lose the body fat and here I'm, I'm producing a, a hormone, I'm spiking a hormone that's causing me to store fat. So that could have been, that's probably what the issue was, why I couldn't get myself down to that last bit. And that's something I just, I just learned today. I mean, it just blew my mind as I'm listening to him and taking notes. Um, like I said, I got a bunch of notes here I took. And I, it's just amazing how it all kind of, after you know four months of doing our research ourselves, on ourselves, and using other people, and then seeing this lecture today about it, man, it just kind of all went went together, and it was like a light bulb went went on inside my brain, and I'm realizing all these years I was taught wrong. And so those of you out there that are uh, health professionals or weight loss coaches, whatever, you guys, you guys got to really look into this because it's, like I said, it's not, glucose isn't causing us to gain weight. 
glucose isn't causing us to have the uh, with the United States being the, the fattest country in the world. It's not about the food we're eating. It's all about ins insulin. And so we, Emily and I, have completely reversed our thoughts now. And here we've been using the, I've been using the glycemic index for decades for my clients when actually I shouldn't be using that. I should be using the insulin in index because that's what's the cause. That's the cause of why my clients did not keep the weight off long term. So now I understand it now. So now I now I can go after the root cause of overweight and I can do it in a healthy manner and I can do it long term now because I'm going to educate my clients about it, insulin and how it affects the bodies and how the different foods that we eat causes insulin to spike. It's not about the, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're going to be uh, taking cal, if, okay, the old, uh, what's that old uh, way that people did it back in the days, uh, less calories in, more calories out, so you eat less, do more ex exercise, yeah, that, that'll work for a while until the body uh, realizes what you're doing, and then the metabolism starts to drop, and all of a sudden everything plateaus. I mean, you guys know that. How many of you have plateaued? I mean, lost weight, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds, all of a sudden it stopped. Well, that's, that's because we're not going after the root cause and some of the foods that we're eating is causing insulin resistance. Okay, guys? So um, I had to get on and say this to you guys. And like I said, some of you uh, health professionals out there are probably shaking your head thinking, you know, this 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 guy's nuts. Where the heck is he getting this stuff? Well, you know what, guys? There's there's way too much scientific research on it that's showing it. And what's really crazy is this is nothing new. This is nothing new, but it's something that nobody taught us, nobody explained to us, until finally, recently, these uh, kidney specialists are realizing that. The treatments they were using on their patients uh, weren't working. They weren't caught. That they weren't reversing type two, type one diabetes, and it wasn't. And, and they were trying to uh, use different uh, uh, diets and, and and medication for obesity. Uh, they the surgeries and stuff, and those aren't work. They've that's only temp, uh, temporary fix, and they they know that now. Well, now they figured it out that it was it's it's because of the insulin hormone. Now they're seeing the results, and that's why there's so much scientific research on it. And there's more and more and more coming about. I mean, I was just uh, on Google Scholar, and there's a couple of m mechanisms that uh, the body has to help control insulin and to uh, to make sure that the body um, or it, it, there's an insulin or there's a hormone that makes you satisfy so I was kinda of looking back on some journals on that and I found all kinds of scientific journals about this insulin resistant as far as causing us to get fat so guys I like I said I, I just had to get on Facebook today I had to throw this out to you guys hey I, I just I hope you saw some value in it um, just like I said I was I was misled all these all these years about um, about how to help my clients lose that body fat and I kinda look back now and I'm thinking you know this is that's horrible you know really really horrible that uh, that we weren't taught the truth. So, guys, hope you have a great day. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on on some more of the stuff I'm learning. I've got another uh, module I've got to go go through. Uh, what is it? Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm going to do a module on the hormone that satisfies the uh, the mechanism that satisfies the body when it shouldn't uh, or when it's full. And so I'll be learning about that. So you guys have a great day, and we'll see you guys next time.